In the wild, cats are solitary creatures, they thrive in their own space away from any perceived threats. Now imagine the shock of being thrust into a bustling vet clinic filled with unfamiliar sights, sounds and smells. It's no wonder cats get stressed. This is a scenario many cat owners can relate to. Cats, unlike their canine counterparts, are not social creatures by nature. Instead, they are individualistic and territorial. They value their space and the comfort of familiar surroundings. Thus, the hustle and bustle of a veterinary clinic teeming with other animals, sharp metallic scents and a cacophony of noises can be incredibly daunting for our feline friends. Consider too the fact that cats are intuitive creatures. They are finely attuned to their surroundings and can pick up on the smallest changes in their environment. The sudden transition from the comfort of home to the clinical setting of a vet's office is a shock to their system, making them feel anxious and stressed. So how can you tell if your cat is stressed? One of the most common signs is a change in behavior. A normally outgoing cat might suddenly start hiding, or a typically quiet cat might begin meowing excessively. Other signs include over-grooming, leading to bald patches and more aggressive behaviors such as hissing or swatting. Understanding these behaviors is crucial, as they are your cat's way of communicating its distress. By recognizing these signs, you can intervene and take steps to alleviate their anxiety. Consider this. Would you feel comfortable in a room full of strangers, unable to understand their language or predict their actions? Probably not, it's the same for your cat. They're thrust into an unfamiliar environment, unable to understand what's happening, which can lead to feelings of anxiety and fear, but don't despair. While it's natural for cats to feel stressed during vet visits, there are steps you can take to make the experience less intimidating. Recognizing these signs of stress is the first step towards making vet visits a less daunting experience for your feline friend. By understanding why your cat gets stressed and recognizing the signs when they occur, you can start to create a more positive vet visit experience for your cat. And that's what we'll be exploring in the next part of this guide. Preparation is everything when it comes to reducing stress in cats. It's all about making them feel safe and secure. The first step in this process is to familiarize your feline friend with their carrier. This can be done by placing their favorite blanket or toy inside, creating a familiar and comforting environment. You can also leave the carrier out in a place where your cat feels safe and can explore it at their own pace. This helps to eliminate the fear of the unknown and makes the carrier an everyday object rather than a dreaded symbol of vet visits. The use of calming pheromone sprays is another effective strategy. These sprays available in pet stores and online mimic the natural pheromones that cats produce to mark their territory as safe and secure. By spraying this inside the carrier you're sending your cat a powerful signal that the carrier is a safe place to be. Next, consider creating positive associations with the carrier. This can be achieved by feeding your cat their favorite treats inside the carrier or playing with them near it. Over time, these positive experiences can help to override any negative associations your cat may have with the carrier, making it a place of comfort rather than fear. And let's not forget about the power of music. Playing a soft, soothing melody can help to create a calm environment that helps to reduce your cat's stress levels. So consider creating a playlist of relaxing tunes for your feline friend. Remember, these steps are not a one-time activity but rather, a part of an ongoing process. The more time your cat spends in a calm and positive state around their carrier, the less stressful the actual vet visit will be. So take your time and be patient. Your cat may not immediately take to these changes but with consistency and positive reinforcement, they'll soon start to feel more comfortable. With these preparations, you're setting the stage for a smoother journey to the vet. But preparation is just the first step. Stay tuned for more tips on how to make the journey and the vet visit itself less stressful for your feline friend. The journey to the vet can be a stressful event in itself, but with some careful planning, you can make it a calm and comfortable experience for your cat. Just as we humans need a peaceful environment during travel, our feline friends need the same. It's all about creating a serene atmosphere that can help ease those pre-visit jitters. First, let's talk about the carrier. It's not just a box, but a safe haven for your cat during this journey. Make sure it's comfortable and cozy. A familiar blanket or a favorite toy can provide comfort and a sense of familiarity. It's like packing a little piece of home for your cat during this trip. Next up, let's discuss the car ride. Cats are creatures of habit and sudden changes can be quite unsettling for them. If possible, try to acclimatize your cat to car rides before the actual vet visit. A few short, calm drives can help your kitty associate car rides with positive experiences. Remember, practice makes perfect. 
Now, on to the importance of creating a calm environment inside your vehicle. Playing some soothing music can work wonders in calming your cat's nerves. Remember, loud noises can startle your cat so keep the volume moderate. A soft familiar voice can also have a calming effect. Speak softly and reassuringly to your cat during the journey. Let them know that they're safe and you're right there with them. Finally, minimize any sudden movements or jerks during the drive. Smooth and steady is the way to go. A sudden break or sharp turn can scare your cat and increase their stress levels. So to sum it all up, the key to a stress-free journey to the vet lies in careful preparation, creating a calm environment, and reassuring your cat that they're not alone. It's about making the journey as comfortable and familiar as possible. And remember, a calm journey is the foundation of a stress-free vet visit. Once you reach the vet's office, your work isn't done. Now, it's all about maintaining that calm environment. When you enter the waiting room, it can be bustling with activity, filled with strange sounds and scents, enough to send even the most chilled out cat into a tizzy. Your goal here is to create a sanctuary amidst the chaos. Keep your cat in its carrier and find a quiet corner away from the hustle and bustle. You could even drape a light blanket over the carrier to create a sense of safety and security. Interaction with the vet can be a critical point of stress for cats. But remember, vets are not the enemy. They are allies in your mission to keep your cat healthy and stress-free. Introduce your cat to the vet in a gentle slow manner. Let your cat sniff the vet's hand before any physical contact is made. And here's a pro tip. Bring your cat's favorite treats along. Rewarding your cat with treats during the examination can create a positive association, turning a potentially stressful situation into a rewarding one. A little bribery can go a long way in making the vet visit more tolerable for your cat. But what if your cat is still a bundle of nerves? Well, it's time to listen to the experts. Veterinarians have a wealth of tips on keeping your cat calm. They might suggest playing soft music using a calming collar, or even prescribing anti-anxiety medications for extremely stressed cats. Don't hesitate to ask for advice. After all, they've seen it all and they're there to help. Lastly, remember to stay calm yourself. Cats are intuitive creatures and they can pick up on your anxiety, so take a deep breath Put on a brave face and project an air of confidence. Your cat will take cues from you and if you're calm, there's a good chance your cat will be too. With these strategies, you're well on your way to a successful vet visit. And remember, every cat is unique and what works for one might not work for another. But with patience, practice and a little bit of trial and error, you can turn the dreaded vet visit into a stress-free experience for both you and your feline friend. The vet visit may be over but your cat's journey isn't. Post-visit care is essential to help your cat recover from the stress of the day. We've all seen it, that sense of relief when you and your feline friends step back into the safety of home. But the work isn't done yet. This is the time to help your cat transition back to its normal routine. The first step is giving your cat some quiet time. After a potentially stressful experience, your cat will appreciate a calm and quiet environment. This doesn't mean leaving your cat alone, but rather, providing a serene space where it can relax and regain its composure. Next, consider some gentle brushing. Not all cats enjoy being brushed, but for those that do, this can be a comforting activity. The rhythmic strokes can help soothe your cat, while the attention can reassure it that everything is back to normal. Another therapeutic activity could be playing quietly with your cat. Remember, the goal isn't to excite your cat, but to engage it in a familiar activity that can help distract it from any residual stress. Simple games that don't require too much energy, like a soft toy on a string, can be perfect for this. Throughout this process, it's important to monitor your cat's behavior. Look for signs that it's returning to its usual self, such as resuming its regular eating and sleeping patterns. If your cat seems particularly stressed or doesn't return to normal within a day or two, it might be worth consulting your vet. Post-visit care is not about coddling your cat, but providing the right environment and activities to help it recover. By understanding your cat's needs, and responding to them, you can significantly reduce the lasting impact of a vet visit. With proper post-visit care, your cat will bounce back in no time. Remember, the goal isn't just to get through the vet visit but to ensure your cat returns to its happy, relaxed self as quickly as possible. After all, a happy cat means a happy owner and isn't that what we all want? 